to the pandemic COVID-19 situation, Dr. Cecilia Putong National High School has adopted the printed and modular distance learning modality to ensure that education for all students will continue and nobody will be left behind. This was conceived after having conducted a survey that showed the result that majority of our stakeholders have no internet connectivity. To ensure a smooth implementation of this learning modality, and in consonance with the DEPED Regional Memorandum No. 0340 Series of 2020, a Division Memorandum No. 1655 Series of 2020 was issued in July 8, 2020, which mandated all schools to conduct a dry run or simulation on the distribution and retrieval of the printed self-learning modules. In compliance with the said orders, the administration of Dr. Cecilia Putong National High School has immediately conducted comprehensive planning which starts with a consultative meeting with all head teachers, assistant principals, and concerned level and program coordinators of special program in the arts, balik paaralan out of school adults, and alive. A permit to conduct orientation was also secured from the Department of Health to conform with the mandated health protocols. Simultaneously, teacher writers were appointed to craft the modules for the dry run. Said modules were evaluated for quality assurance by the master teachers and head teachers before they were forwarded to learning resource for printing. An infocast and text brigade was facilitated by the assigned teachers to inform all parents or guardians of all students involved. On July 28, 2020, the orientation proper on the learning delivery modality, specifically called the two-way printed modular distance learning modality for the Special Program in the Arts or SPA, BPO San Alive, was conducted at different times scheduled. By the way, after the only two weeks of passing the Mataka and the Chancellor and the Chancellor of Abangwe for the system of Due to limited number of parent attendees in the DPOSA program, the administration has decided to conduct second round of its orientation on August 1, 2020. On August 3, 2020, Discipline HS teachers have again contacted and reminded parents and guardians for another orientation through text messaging and phone calls to ensure that 100% of the parents' attendance will be achieved. On August 4, 2020, the simulation proper for the special program in the arts was done. This was attended by our school's division superintendent and division supervisor. The simulation for the BPOSA and Alive programs was finally done in the morning and afternoon of August 8, 2020, respectively. Prior to the scheduled date, all the parents and guardians were again contacted and followed up through text messaging and phone calls. The SPA retrieval of modules was done on August 11, 2020.
BP OSA and Alive conducted their retrieval in the morning and afternoon on August 15, 2020, respectively. Prior to that schedule, constant monitoring, follow-up, and reminders to concerned parents and guardians were facilitated by the team of teachers to ensure that students' outputs will be submitted on time. On August 12, 2020, a focused group discussion for the special program in the arts was conducted by the principal using the SWOT analysis to assess the dry run and simulation and to improve the process and make adjustments of the original plan to efficiently cater all the needs of all our parents and guardians. On August 13, 2020, a communicating results activity for the dry run and simulation conducted by SPA was done for the other level coordinators to know.